Republican Congressman uh, Blake Franhold of Texas joins me now from McAllen, Texas on the border. Congressman, good morning to you, sir. Chuck, good morning. I want to talk to you about this issue, number one, of, of, of trying to ease the burden a bit on Texas and Arizona when it comes to this current crisis and try to transfer some of these migrants temporarily to places like California, Oklahoma, and Virginia. It's being met with huge protests. What do you say to those communities in these other states? Um, make your plea as to why they should be helping out. Listen, we've got such a flood that all of the facilities in Texas are busting at the seams. We're housing them at Lackland Air Force Base. We're housing them at all sorts of uh, facilities. Anything we can find, we're using. And it takes time to get these children uh, processed and uh, reunited with an adult that will eventually take care of them. The, uh, it's funny uh, you put it that way. Do you understand? Obviously, you've been getting some probably hearing from your own constituents. Do you understand why there are protests, or do you think that these protests are, are a bit uninformed? I think the protests are uninformed. There is a facility that houses several hundred of these children four blocks from my home in Corpus Christi, Texas. It's not a problem for the community. This is a humanitarian crisis. The whole country needs to step up and uh, help, help out. So I take it that the request from the president, he's estimated, and I think it comes from Jay Johnson at Homeland Security, of a need of about $2 billion, uh, more Border Patrol agents, more facilities, uh, speeding up the process of, of making these decisions about deportation. I take it, in general, you're going to be supportive of this? We've got to speed up the process. They're going to keep coming until the word on the street in Central America becomes you're not going to be able to stay. But right now, any of these kids that get here, they're uh, processed, reunited with an adult, and it takes years before they get their hearing. So if we can come up with a procedure to expedite the deportation procedures, it would definitely help. Let me ask you about the impact this is having on the broader immigration debate. Uh, you represent a district that's basically 50-50, 50% Hispanic, 50% uh, non-Hispanic. Uh, do you believe that this current crisis has made it much harder to get any sort of larger immigration reform done, even though they technically don't have anything to do with each other? I think politically it may, but this needs to be this needs to be and can be addressed at, on its own. If the problem with these children is lumped into a comprehensive immigration uh, reform package. The kids are being used as pawns by uh, hardcore zealots that are uh, pro-amnesty and pro-open border. That I don't think you'd have any problem getting legislation through the House to uh, have expedited deportation procedures, getting more judges down to uh, prosecute or, or hear these cases. Yeah. I don't think there'd be a problem with that, but I think these kids are a pawn in the bigger immigration debate. Let me ask you, before this, it's been interesting. I've, I've I've seen some statistics, and some of this is loose now because they're, they're still seeing it. But it looks like that the increased amount of Border Patrol agents had a good impact, for instance, on the ability to stop, uh, to slow down the pace of drugs coming over the border. Uh, but all of a sudden now, these Border Patrol agents are, are basically being distracted from their current job to deal with this crisis. Before this crisis, did you feel as if the border was more secure today than it was, say, 10 years ago? It was, it, it's, the border is relatively secure, but it's not secure enough because we are having all of these folks come across. And we've completely stressed the Border Patrol. The Texas Department of Public Safety is working on either end of where these children are typically coming in because these children are being used as a distraction. They flood uh, the Border Patrol with the kids that they've got to take care of. And then a few miles up the border, uh, across comes the truck full of marijuana or uh, other drugs. Let me ask you a couple of uh, political questions having to do loosely with the immigration debate. Number one, uh, are you for eventually, can you support any immigration legislation that would have a path to citizenship, maybe it's 12 years, maybe it's 15 years, for the undocumented, the 11 million undocumented? I think there's no problem getting through the House a pathway to legal status. A pathway to citizenship is going to be tougher, but uh, I think it is potentially doable if we can show the American people that the border is secure. My constituents feel betrayed by the promise that Reagan made that if we grant amnesty, we'll then secure the border. We obviously didn't do that, and the fear is we'll be 10 years down the road and there'll be right. another uh, you know, 12 million folks here if we don't do border security first. It's interesting. You said you think it could get through. It sounds like you would be supportive of it under the right circumstances, but you didn't want to speak for the entire House Republican. 
you know, I, I think that there's a hierarchy there, and as, as people have been here for a while, there is a possibility, certainly for the children that were brought here uh, uh, by their parents at very young ages. I mean, that's a very sympathetic crowd. We've educated them uh, in right. our schools, and they, they become a, a burden on society if they can't get a job. Uh, and very quickly, are you supportive of Speaker Boehner's efforts to uh, essentially sue the president over these executive actions? I think the president has gone too far. We saw in several uh, Supreme Court cases just recently that uh, even the Supreme Court agrees he's gone too far. So I think this is one of the few options we have for uh, reigning in a president who has taken uh, way too much power, much more than the Constitution granted him. So you plan to vote when that legislation comes to the floor, you plan to vote to authorize it? I will vote uh, to proceed with the lawsuit. All right. Congressman Farron Hole coming to us live from the border this morning. Appreciate the time and appreciate your views. It's my pleasure. Thank you very much, Chuck. Thank you, sir.